to house and revise and extend my remarks. Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one. Madam Speaker, I rise today to recognize Suicide Awareness Month. For families deeply affected by suicide like my own, this issue is very personal. When I came to Congress, I decided to turn grief into purpose by co-chairing the Bipartisan Mental Health Caucus. I've worked with my colleagues to author and pass legislation to expand pediatric mental health care, effectively implement the new 988 suicide lifeline, and reduce the shortage of mental health professionals. But there's still much more to be done. Stigma surrounding mental illness still persists in this country big time. And we are just beginning to understand the pandemic's true impact on behavioral health. If we are to make meaningful progress to reduce suicide, we need to focus on areas that produce the most in the least amount of time. The American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, along with a growing segment of the medical community, has recognized the need to expand suicide risk screenings within our healthcare community systems. By having more patients receive these screenings, healthcare professionals can better identify and treat at-risk individuals. Madam Speaker, suicide prevention is an issue near and dear to my heart, and I want to encourage all of my colleagues to join me in this important life-saving work. Thank you, and I yield back.